So how do you set up your Facebook pixel and connect it to Shopify so that you can track all of your conversion events and run better Facebook ads? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that step-by-step, step, A to Z. So make it extremely simple for you, take you into my computer and show you live how to go ahead and connect everything in the simplest way possible. And they've honestly made it super, super simple. So um, this tutorial shouldn't be uh, difficult to follow at all. But if you have any questions as we go through, definitely let me know and I'm happy to help you out so that you can get this set up properly. If you're new around here, my name is Blake Bauer. I'm the co-founder of a digital advertising agency called Jetstream Digital, and we help brands grow and scale with paid advertising. So if you wanna learn more about that and get help um, with your ads in any way, you can check the links in the description and I'm happy to get back to you there. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and jump into the video and let me show you how to set this up. Okay, the first place we're gonna start out here is actually in Shopify. So inside of the Shopify dashboard here, what you're gonna to wanna to do first of all is add in the Facebook sales channel. So I'll show you how to do that right here. Go down uh, into the settings here and just click on sales channels. And then what you're gonna actually wanna do is just search for Facebook. And then that'll actually prompt opening up the uh, actual app store here. Where from here, what you wanna do is click on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, this sales channel right here and actually install this click on add app and then add sales channel right here you can kind of see what it's about some different settings and whatever here but click on add sales channel awesome now once you've added that sales channel what i typically do is just you know pin this so that you can easily kind of see it there amongst all of your other sales channels like your online store google and youtube which i have another tutorial on if you want to check that out uh, and then from here, you're going to want to set up, you know, the settings essentially, right? So click start setup. Now it's going to prompt you first of all, to connect your Facebook account. So this is your personal account and this account should be tied to your Facebook page for your business that you're going to want to connect to. And your Facebook page should be also connected to all of your assets as far as the pixel goes, uh, business manager, et cetera. So go ahead and connect your account, select your business assets here. So I'm just going to select Jetstream here, and then it'll ask you for data uh, sharing preferences, right? So this essentially, uh, relates to how much data you are going to be giving to Facebook. And for this, when you're, especially when you're running ads, you want to give it the maximum amount of data possible so that you can better optimize your campaigns and, you know, feed essentially Facebook's AI so that it can better optimize around customers, purchases, leads, etc. So the more data you give it, the better. So we always recommend maximum here. Um, again, just trying to maximize your advertising results overall. So select maximum there. You can read more about that here and click on save. Here's some of the events that it's going to set up by default search, custom click ID, uh, payment information, initiate checkout and purchase. Uh, all of those different events are going to be saved automatically. So click on save there. Now, what it's going to ask you to do next is actually select uh, a pixel to actually track the customer behavior. So you can see I already do have a pixel set up here, but now let's go over into Facebook ads so I can show you how to create a pixel so that you actually can see the pixel that is uh, available here to have selection so that you can connect it into Shopify here. So what you're going to want to do is go to business.facebook. Dot com. Again, assuming that you already have your Facebook business manager or your meta business suite set up, you're going to want to make sure that, you know, in the back end here, you already have your page set up um, for the most part, everything is, you know, pretty good. Um, but again, just go to business.facebook.com. If you don't already have a business manager account, it'll prompt you to create one. And then you should end up at a page that looks like this, that has your uh, page, your Facebook page and your Instagram page connected. Um, you can play around the settings a little bit so that you get to a page that looks like this. And then from here, so that we can actually navigate to where we wanna create the pixel, what you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down here to settings. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to click on business settings. Okay, so from here, you can see we are now landed at the business settings section of the back end of Facebook. So business.facebook.com slash settings. You can also enter in this URL right here to see if you can just get right you know, to this place. I have this bookmark typically, because this is a place I like to just pop into. Uh, this is the, you know, the easiest place to access everything in my opinion. So I'd definitely bookmark this link so that you can easily jump to here. And from here, what you're gonna see is you have some different things, users, accounts, and then data sources. And data sources is where you wanna to navigate to where you're actually going to create your pixel. So click on pixels right here. So from here, you can see we already have a few different pixels connected. We have quite a few for different companies that we're working with, but what you can actually do from this setting is go and click on add. And then what you'll be able to do is actually create a new pixel. As you can see here, pixel name, you can name that pixel. Uh, you can check the actual URL of your website to see how you can qualify for connecting that pixel. And then you can go ahead and create that. Now, if you don't already have pixels set up like I do, the settings will look like this. Again, the same thing. This is just a different business manager account where you can click on add here again, and you can do the same steps. So let's go back here. And what we can see is uh, the pixel name. I'm just going to name this Jetstream Digital Test 
pixel, right? And then you can actually check the URL of your brand to see how you can set it up. Now we are connecting Shopify, but a really easy way that you can actually do this is you can just grab the URL, right? And you can, pu you can publish this into here. You can go continue and then it'll actually tell you, okay, there's a Shopify partner integration. So you can go ahead and set that up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on set up pixel now, right? And you can add code using a partner integration. So we'll go ahead and click on this, right? And then you can click on Shopify right here. There's some different uh, other tools that you can use, Kajabi, BigCommerce, right? Makes it very, very easy to connect it. So click on Shopify. So from here, what it's gonna say is you wanna connect uh, to your Shopify account to Facebook. So log into Shopify account and follow the instructions to set up your connections with Facebook, right? So what we wanna click on once we finish the pixel setup is I've completed setup on Shopify, right? So now that we're here, what we wanna do is just, again, go back to what we originally had set up with everything, right? And I'm just gonna refresh this so that our new pixel is gonna load in here. So let me just go through this again and just connect the assets. Okay, awesome. Now, now you can see that I do have the pixel showing up here, Jetstream's digital test pixel. And so all we're gonna wanna do is just select connect for that, go agree and click on submit for review. So it's just that simple. Now we have the pixel connected. We have uh, all of the settings connected so that we can actually track and maximize the conversions. If we go back into the business settings here, right? We can click on, I've completed the setup on Shopify. We can click on next. We can enter our test URL here to make sure that this is tracking. So let's click on that. Let's go back. Okay, as you can see, we tested the connection there. It might take you a minute or two for it to actually register, but it is now active. So we can click on next and then you can actually test events in the events manager. So let's quickly explore this and just kind of see how this works. And you can actually go through your website and test out all of the different things as far as, you know, adding to cart, initiating checkout, even purchasing, and just making sure all those are firing properly. Honestly, you don't really need to worry about that though. It, it will all be set up correctly. I've never seen it like not be set up correctly, but it's kind of cool to see in, in real time, like how all of those events fire as far as like clicking on different landing pages and, and things like that. So, okay, so I'll show you test events in just a moment here, but once you complete that, just click on finish and then it's gonna bring you back to here. And from here, there's a couple other things that we're going to want to do to make sure that our pixel is properly set up and optimized, especially for iOS 14.5 and for aggregated event measurement, it's called, where we're able to track a little bit on the server side and set up some more advanced tracking to ensure that we have the most optimal tracking to maximize our results with Facebook ads. So uh, what we're gonna do here is go down and click on brand safety and uh, suitability and then click on domains. Now from here, what you're going to want to do again, we have a bunch of different domains set up, but you're going to want to click on add domain. Now we have a bunch of domains already here, but once you've connected the pixel, you should have the domain getting pulled into here and it should show, as you can see here, it's just not verified, but you do have the domain right here. So in order to verify this domain, what we actually have to do is add in a meta tag to the HTML source code. So we have to copy this code right here. So let me copy that and paste that into the head section of the HTML source on the web page. And after we've done that, right, then we'll be able to verify the domain. So essentially how to do this on Shopify, I'll quickly show you how to do this. It's very, very simple. You go back to your Shopify dashboard, you go to the online store here, and then what you're gonna wanna do is click on customize on your actual theme here right? Click on these three dots here and then click on edit code. Now from here, again, you're going to want to paste that into the uh, head section. So go to theme.liquid and then just below this head section right here, just push enter and then just copy. Um, you've copied the code. So just paste that code right here and I got to move myself and then just click on save. Boom. So now that asset has been added. So uh, it's literally that simple. And then you can go back and then you can actually click on verify the domain here. And boom, that domain has now been verified. Um, as simple as that. And again, you're gonna wanna do that right after you set up the pixel as well. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on connected assets, and then you can actually add in your page here and connect that to uh, this actual domain. So I'm gonna connect Jetstream Digital here and go ahead and add that. Right? And then as far as domain access, manage add uh, link editing. So from here, if you actually have your domain and you don't want anybody else to be sending traffic to your domain or you know editing ad links for different pages, you can actually change the settings here to deny access or to only allow specific advertisers to edit ad links. Um, I'm just gonna leave this as anyone can edit the ad links. Now, the last step here in order to properly set up those conversion events, as I talked about, and the aggregate event measurement, which is kind of like the post iOS 14 fix, is go back to your pixels here, go to the pixel that we just set up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add people here. So let me just add myself, right? And then from here, let me just make myself smaller here. From here, click on open in events manager. Then you can see we have our pixel opened up right here. 
Uh, and then we have a couple of different options here. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do here is as you can see, we have no current activity on the pixel. So first of all, we want to test the activity and just validate that everything is there. And then we'll be able to set up the aggregated event measurement here. So go test events. And then what you're gonna wanna do is actually just enter in your URL right here and then go open the website. And then you can literally just browse around, you know, just go to a product page, add that to cart, right? And then, you know, go check out and you know, that's kind of all you want to do there. You can kind of navigate around, click on some different pages here, right? And then you can go back and you can see add to cart showing up, view content showing up, right? All those events are getting pulled in through the partner integration. So all that is set up properly. So lastly, uh, as you may have been familiar with or not, you previously had to configure web events to prioritize what was most important. So purchases, initiate checkouts, add to carts, and you had to select these events and essentially prioritize them. Facebook has now removed this feature, so you no longer have to set up this uh, aggregated event measurements, right? Everything is automatically set up properly and correctly, so you no longer have to do that. Uh, and you can kind of read more about that uh, on this page here uh, about, about event configuration, and everything like that. So um, pretty much that entire setup, um, that's as simple as it gets, right? You go to Shopify, you add in the sales channel, uh, and you connect your page and you connect your pixel uh, and everything is properly set up after that. So it made it stupid simple. Um, and hopefully this tutorial was very helpful in showing you exactly how to set that up step by step. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments and I'm happy to get back to you there and help you out. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found that valuable. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest in digital marketing, digital advertising, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.